Welcome back to the performance video training series. In this video, we will explore the device panel utility. Although the power of performance is its ability to manage groups of devices to quickly configure presets and settings, there may be a time when it is necessary to investigate the DSP parameters and settings of a single device on the network. This is possible from the device panel utility located here above NetCenter. Opening the utility, we see a list of devices that have been added to the performance design. If no devices are in the design, the device panel is not available. The device type and device status are displayed to the right of the HCID. If a device is online or offline, it will be shown here. Click the checkbox next to any device HCID to load the device panel for that device. Tabs are displayed across the top of the device panel. When changing between devices, the selected tab is retained, making comparing settings across devices easier. The first tab for the SRX900 is the device overview. High-level information is displayed to provide a quick state of common parameters. Amplifier status is displayed to show how the hardware is doing, and basic audio information is presented. Clicking the DSP tab provides a single screen to view DSP settings and allows editing of some basic DSP settings. These controls do not respect any grouping, and caution must be used when adjusting any of these DSP parameters for an individual device. Below, a frequency response graph is shown displaying the composite summed response of all EQ filters affecting the selected device that have been applied in various groups from tune mode. The graph can also be changed to display the active calibration filters. In the Load tab, a speaker testing toolset is available. The signal generator on the device can be enabled, and the type of signal and gain can be adjusted. Unlike when using the generator tool in test mode, this generator control will not automatically turn off when exiting the view, and it only controls the generator within the selected device. This is a very useful tool for testing specific devices while in rehearsal or a show without having to enable the generators on the whole system. The Settings tab provides control over hardware device parameters. Controls within this tab can only be changed when connected to the device, as these settings are always read from the device when connecting. Under Display Settings, the LCD auto dimming functionality can be toggled, and the timeout to turn off the backlight on the screen can be changed. This control is the only place where the LCD can be locked out. If a subwoofer or fill speaker is in an area where it might be tampered with, the screen can be locked out from the software, and changes cannot be made from the device. The amplifier sleep controls control when an amplifier module in a device will go to sleep. We set the threshold for the input signal to be below a specified level for a specified time before the module sleeps. This will help to save electricity. The network settings presented here are read-only. To change them, use NetSetter, or change them on the device directly. Settings can be restored to their default values using the reset button. The tools and information available in the device panel provide a comprehensive view of all parameters within a single device, within a design, providing a meaningful hub of information and a useful tool for device level configuration and troubleshooting.